<laughs> All right, we're back. I'm with those two people again. Hello. We saw, uh, so we saw Dracula last time, mm -hmm. and we saw a different kind of Batman tonight. Mm -hmm. oh. Batman Returns mm -hmm. at the Ambler Theater. Mm -hmm. Back with Lana and Dave. <laughs> and Dave. And uh, yeah, so we went to uh, we went to a 35 millimeter screening tonight of 1992's Batman, Batman Returns. Returns. Uh, the print was in shit shape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was that's probably one of the worst 35 millimeter prints I've seen in quite a while. Mm -hmm. um, this is my favorite live action Batman movie. Mm -hmm. uh, I fucking love this movie. Um, you said you saw it in the theater. I did. Yeah. I saw uh, it opening day. In yeah, me wow. too. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, it's funny. The theater I went to. That's why and I'm all Christmas you're all Christmas out. Mm -hmm. Well, no, because you're gonna have the. Is Batman Returns a Christmas that's, movie? Well, that's a joke I was gonna. <laughs> that's a joke I was gonna make. Cause now every stupid movie is a Christmas movie. Is is Die Hard a Christmas movie? <laughs> irreversible. Fuck yes, Irreversible <laughs> is a Christmas movie. Yes. <laughs> now, now I want. I'm gonna every year. I'm gonna celebrate Christmas with there a go. 22 minute anal rape scene. <laughs> <laughs> As you should. Yeah. If there's snow, it's a Christmas movie. So the Revenant. The yeah, the, the yep. Revenant. Mm -hmm. Yep. Wait a minute, I gotta get comfortable. Alive. Gotta talk yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Christmas feast. Exactly. <laughs> no, there used to be a dude who used to come into the video store all the time, and he was the Christmas guy, and he used to always. Uh, Used to be like, guess what I'm getting? And I'd be like, I don't know, on my fucking nerves. <laughs> and it would get die hard. And I'm just like, who fucking cares? Anything you want to be a a league of their own is a Christmas movie. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> so this is when uh, Warner Brothers gave Tim Burton full carte blanche mm -hmm. to make carte the movie. Like yeah, mm -hmm. uh, to make the movie that he wanted to make, and he. Uh, he ended that cycle of Batman movies. <laughs> I've heard, yeah, no. McDonald's will never be the same. Oh, <laughs> fuck yeah. You know? And, um, yeah, so, th again, that, I'm sure everybody knows that story, mm -hmm. that the movie was considered so, like, perverse that McDonald's mm -hmm. had a problem selling the, the mm -hmm. Happy Meals. Um, I loved this movie when I saw it as a mm -hmm. kid, but I was telling you, uh, before... I'm not like this, but I was like 20. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, was just, I was a little boy. Yeah, I was pretty young. I yeah. was 19. <laughs> <laughs> so 92, I was, I don't know, I was like nine years old or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just a young I'm, buck. I was 21. I might have been 18. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, yeah, well, you know. So yeah, so uh, you know, you got you got sex references. You've got re I forgot about the the reference to the Reichstag uh, fires and stuff like that. <laughs> and I was like, wow, yeah, this is a kids movie basically. And they're talking about the Nazis, like you know, and yeah. fucking uh, you know, he's referencing Poontang and stuff. And I'm just, and you got the penguin with black shit coming out of his mouth. And I was like, this is fucking great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love yeah. that he's running for mayor and perpetually has black ooze, Dude. and no one says anything. You're like, eh, well, he could have been he could have been a Trump appointee, you know? <laughs> Do penguins ooze ink? I'm sorry, I had the Long Island iced tea. Did penguins ooze ink like octopuses? Octopi? Did? Octopi? Yeah, octopi. I don't <laughs> think so. I think Tim Burton was yeah, octopusy. Uh, I think Tim Burton was just like, I want our penguin to. Hmm. Um, <laughs> He'll have black goo coming out like the yeah. void. <laughs> <laughs> I think in nature, the only thing that penguins do is occasionally wear a bow tie. That's about yes, it. yeah. <laughs> they were adorable. Yeah. And then you're also you're watching this in the age of superhero movies that we live in now, and it's like, imagine if a Marvel movie did a penguin with a rocket pack. I know. People would be like. <laughs> this movie's woke. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, I'm all woke because I finally saw something fucking cool. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we were talking on the way here. It's like, uh, I want to meet the only black guy who doesn't like Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> like, friends yeah. like, oh, this is great. He's like, it was fine. It was fine. They're just like, everybody <laughs> <laughs> gets quiet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're record scrubbers. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, why is there a record playing in 2022? <laughs> Everyone turns and looks at him. Yeah. <laughs> but then there's one guy in the back who's like, fucking A. Like, he agrees, but he doesn't want to say anything. You know? Or the slow clap from, like, an 80s team. The white guy's like, I didn't like it either. Yeah, and then and everyone like, oh, just oh, turns to him. <laughs> Feats don't fail me now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so, um... 
this movie is uh, Selena, uh, Selena Kyle, uh, Michelle uh, Michelle Pfeiffer has mm-hmm. never looked sexier yeah. than she does in this movie. Except her, for Grease too. She looked yeah. I do love Grease too. She's really hot. But her eyes in this movie are just yeah. fucking like they're so cold and transfixing, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know Danny DeVito just playing a, a you know a Tim Burton character. Mm-hmm. He looks like a Tim Burton sketch come to life, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I saw a meme with like Tim Burton calling Danny DeVito. He's like, ah, oh, never mind. Tell me what it is. I get my top hat. Yeah. Right. So he, <laughs> you get my big top hat and there's a lot of like there's a lot of weird shit in this movie that you would never see in a superhero movie now no way um aside from the fact that the world is small mm-hmm. it's it's all set in gotham city it's it's mm-hmm. broader than the 89 one where i was saying to you guys there's like 20 people who live there yeah. there's mm-hmm. one black dude and mm-hmm. there's the monarch theater that's it that's all they got <laughs> you know here at least everything is revolving around like uh uh, 30 Rock Center in, yeah. in Gotham, mm-hmm. yeah. um, where our uh, Max Shrek, uh, who's named after the Nosferatu mm-hmm. actor. Um, that's the other thing about this movie. It is very much a German expressionist film. Mm-hmm. You know, the, 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 right with the first, before you even see the penguin, um, you have his shadow on the wall, and it's very Nosferatu. Mm-hmm. Um, even Max Shrek's cufflings are human teeth, mm-hmm. which I thought was kind of cool. Um, Danny Elfman's score is like, so good. Pop yeah. operatic. So good. It's pop operatic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I get hard when that shit comes. Oh up. no, it's oh, awesome. It's, it's, it's like it, I compare it to John Williams Superman. Yeah, because I just get so excited when that shit yeah. runs up. Like, it, yeah. it's, it's get you pumped. I like because I like the sec- I love the first score. Obviously, I love the Prince soundtrack. We were talking about that, mm-hmm. but like this movie is what introduced me to Susie and the Banshees, mm-hmm. and I fucking love Susie and the Banshees. Mm-hmm. But it all came from this movie yeah. getting the soundtrack on tape. Mm-hmm. And then being like, who is this band? And then finding yeah. them, you know, right. and I've always been a big fan. Um, I don't know. I just, I, there's the set design, the costume design, everything mm-hmm. is just like, is twisted and weird and mm-hmm. way more Tim Burton-y. Mm-hmm. Um, the Art Deco style, even the bat suit looks yeah. more mm-hmm. Art Deco than the first one that had more of an anatomical feel to it he still can't move his fucking head well like when he rips it off at the end but he doesn't have the dark the eye makeup <laughs> yeah well the last one the the, the battinson one uh they finally addressed him wearing like makeup under his mask mm-hmm. and i'm just like why haven't they do that the whole time yeah but i right. guess they don't want the end for him like to have an emotional scene he's got like raccoon eyes mm-hmm. you know yeah, it might be a little weird. and his bat mask rips off like it's the fucking paper they used to put uh uh uh, fruit roll ups on. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Where he's crying and there's black makeup. Right oh, there. yeah. Just, yeah. You know? Because yeah, Batman cries a lot. I, I, yeah, just, I love, <laughs> he does. Um, not as much as uh, uh, Spider Man in those yeah. movies. Oh, he fucking cries and dances a lot. Yeah. I always said in part three, they're like, Sam Raimi, what are you doing? He's like, shh, I'm trying to get fired. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, just I, everything about this movie. Again, why would you live in Gotham City? I wouldn't. No. I would not. There, there's like, they're constant clown attacks. Yes, that would scare the shit. I was like, remember like five or six years ago when there were like clown sightings? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, was, mm-hmm. I was afraid to leave my house. I was like, what the hell is my going on? My aunt called me and she's like, you better not be doing that shit. I'm like, what the fuck would I be doing that? I'm not concerned for your well-being. There is, accusing a, you of shit. there is a picture of me online, though. We had to film uh, this clown thing on this boardwalk back in like 2007. Mm-hmm. And the suit, I couldn't wear underwear underneath of it. So I'm just <laughs> free dicking it. And uh, so I'm just walking down this fucking boardwalk in the off season, you know, mm-hmm. balls akimbo in a clown suit with a zombie hand. And people are like, you know what? It's best not to ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird when you see a clown in reality. Though. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I never like clowns. I mean, Even when you're supposed to see them. I, used... I know that's like, the cool thing to say mm-hmm. now, but like, I remember watching uh, Howdy Doody mm-hmm. as a kid. And what was it, Bozo? Or yeah. Whatever. yeah. Whatever the hell I clown. Whatever his name was, mm-hmm. I did not like him at all. John Wayne Gacy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> One of the less creepy clowns. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bozo the clown. So, a friend of mine took a picture recently. She was in Chicago. Uh, and she was wearing the Gacy makeup, and I was like, oh, that's what that smell coming from your crawl space is. Oh. <laughs> 17-year-old hairless runaway boys. Yeah, I watched um, a documentary where they talked to the guy who went in there and yeah. started investigating oh, him, and, they, and he used the bathroom, and they were all smell coming uh, out. Like, well, because I watched the Dahmer show recently. Mm-hmm. And, who didn't? Yeah, I mean, right? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but though, remember when the dude, speaking of Pee-wee's Big Adventure, the guy who plays, uh, the, um, uh, Buxton, what's his name, um, he steals a bike. 
no, What's, Francis. Francis. Yes, yes. He played John Wayne Gacy in one of those directed to video that. movies oh, where yes, uh, uh, Jeremy Renner played Jeffrey Dahmer, mm -hmm. and the guy who gets away is the fucking black gay guy from Revenge of the Nerds. Mm -hmm. That's oh, yeah. Lamar yep. Latrell. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lamar Latrell. <laughs> fucking Lamar love Lamar Latrell. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to explain. <laughs> I was trying to explain that movie to someone recently, and they're like, "So oh, we're not allowed to like that." Yeah, either. they're like, "So rape is funny," and I was like, <laughs> said, well, yeah. Uh, said, "Yeah, yeah." I didn't know. How, I didn't know how to respond to that, and I was like, eh, "It was the 80s. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, I never really wa thought of it yeah. that way until somebody I started had nothing better mm -hmm. to do with their time and was like, "We're gonna cancel it, this movie." It was the Reagan era. Ago. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so now we can't enjoy anything anymore. Yeah. No, you can't enjoy anything. And again, they cancel, you know, Batman Returns, the, uh, the, the stuff now, I think if you showed it to kids, they would be like, they, I don't think kids would care, mm -hmm. you know, but I think parents would hear it now and just be like, what, what is this? You know? Mm -hmm. So at that time, it was no darker than the first one. Mm -hmm. It's way more <laughs> camp, but it was just weird. I remember so vividly the like parent groups getting so fucking pissed off mm -hmm. yeah. about this movie. And I remember my, my neighbor telling my mom, like, it's disgusting that you let him go see that movie. Mm -hmm. I I'm wearing a fucking Batman sweatshirt. Now yeah. I, I've been obsessed with Batman since mm -hmm. I was a little kid. And it was just like, I didn't get a lot of the jokes at the time, mm -hmm. but I also watched Friday the 13th movies. And mm -hmm. like, there was titties and blood in that. And this <laughs> is just a dude in a rubber suit. You know, well, my thing is what part of PG 13 did you not understand? Yeah. Because it, specifically says in the rating box material <laughs> made, oh, data dynamic, mm -hmm. material some material may be inappropriate yeah. for children under 13 so it's on you now if yeah. you didn't pay no there's that. no I mean when you worked with me at the theater and mm -hmm. parents would bitch and complain about like Deadpool or something when it yeah. came out and it's like everybody wants to avoid consequences of their actions so they have to blame it on somebody else mm -hmm. oh there's a school shooting uh marilyn manson did it you know it's like yeah, shit like that yeah. and we're still doing that fucking thing with like video games and i'm like oh yeah you know when when the moors conquered sicily what was that heavy metal album they listened to <laughs> and hitler in world war ii which which nightmare on elm street movie did he like you know i think the third one. Oh, okay yeah no the second one <laughs> <laughs> yeah well yeah, hitler sense. with his one ball is like you know <laughs> this jesse character I actually really love Jesse. I, there, there needs to be more Scream Kings in yeah, movies. That would be fun. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Good. Anything? Well, no, I just, yeah, I remember that whole furor, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I, <laughs> I never understood it. I'm like, if this movie is too much for you, then just hide in your basement yeah. for the rest of your fucking life. Yeah. Because yeah. it really isn't, I mean, but I mean again, if you saw The Wizard of Oz, you should be able to handle it. Yeah, that but now. again, it's like Warner Brothers clutch their pearls mm -hmm. like it's not like they didn't sign off on it. they're a fucking multi-billion dollar global operation mm -hmm. it's like when everybody blamed ryan johnson for the last jedi like everyone at disney and lucasfilm mm -hmm. didn't sign off on every little decision you know or batman versus superman they're like oh Zack snyder yeah he took a hundred billion dollars and went and made that movie on his own behind your back mm -hmm. fuck you you just got <laughs> caught you know <laughs> I'm sorry people yeah. didn't like it. They looked yeah. at him the way Max Shrek looked at the penguin exactly. when, when Batman's playing the CD. Oh, I love that. I Shrek. love that. He's like, you're on your own now. How did he get the, the branded bat symbol CD case? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where is this mistake? I know. He's got Alfred in there building. He's like, I'm a 90 Is he fucking buying five. his own merch? How does that work? That's <laughs> Well, he even says in the thing, he's like, we gotta, we can't take the car to a fucking body yeah. shop, you know? <laughs> That's one of my favorite scenes is when he's saying uh, about like, Discretion, and he's like, Who let Vicky Vale into the back? Yes, <laughs> yeah, I love that scene. That's yeah. so funny. Yeah, because that's that's one scene in the first Batman movie where I was like, No, that mm -hmm. wouldn't have flown, you know? Not at all. That was no. really weird. I didn't like her character, Vicky, Vicky Vale. Mm -hmm. I like him basing her in other yeah. movies for sure, but oh that God, character was just there to be a hot girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna try to say, I'm like, Oh, feminist or anything, but it was just. <laughs> I don't mind her being hot at all, yeah. but, like, do something. Like, don't just be there to yell. And, and she was dating and... Prince at the time, too. Was she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she was getting... Oh, that's right, because she wore that one sweet yeah. thing to the Oscars. She was, she getting... was like, do the right thing. She'd been nominated for yeah. this picture. Because I'm banging Prince now. <laughs> He's, like, five feet tall. Yeah. That dude, he laid more pipe than Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Gave me hope. Only, you know, Prince was attractive and had talent. Yeah. So, yeah. all right, maybe I don't have hope, but... <laughs> he was also rich. Very oh, rich, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. He had every room in his like house like mm -hmm. wired for sound, so he could just be taking a shit and just decide to record fucking you know mm -hmm. graffiti bridge or something uh. like that, you know. Yeah. But again, I love the first 
Batman soundtrack. There's a video on this channel of me like gushing about the first the '89 Batman it's a great movie. Soundtrack. But um, this one, you know, Susie and the Banshees you got fucking Super Freak instrumental oh, on yeah, it. You yeah, know, yeah, like the elevator version of Super Fancy Freak. Fancy party and they're playing Super Freak. I love <laughs> that's that is my favorite Bruce Wayne scene of yeah. any Batman movie. Uh, is but this? Oh, good. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. I no, was just right. thinking it's always like rich white people took all the soul out of Super mm -hmm. Freak and made well, it. Well, that's why I think like kind of works with it too. Because the movie is like. It's also an indictment on like yuppie culture mm -hmm. as well. You know, Max Shrek is is this uh, you know Donald Trump style guy, and um, you know, and and Bruce Wayne's kind of the antithesis of both, that. Both. Oops. Oh no! Uh -oh. oh, it did it again. Hold Are on. We're gonna have to do this again. Nope, we got it. We're in Gotham now. We're in Gotham. Why would anyone live there? <laughs> um, no, like I, yeah, you, you're right. It sucked the soul out of it. Like he's sucking the electricity out of Gotham yeah, City, yeah, you know. Yeah. And I love just little things like the party is so opulent. It reminds me of the um, as the world falls down scene in the labyrinth, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. Gates there, McFadden. That's, so, that's a good yeah. comparison for sure. Gates McFadden did the uh, choreography for that scene. Wait, uh, the chick from Star Trek? Yeah, really. Yep. I Beverly, had no clue. Beverly Crusher. I had yep. no clue. Mm -hmm. Well, she crushed it. Yes, she did. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and of course, you know, and then the, just the, the interaction between the two of them mm -hmm. is just so great. And I, I love the, the back and forth. And then when they finally realize, you know, the, you know, mistletoe could be deadly if you eat it, but a kiss could be deadlier if you mean it. Mm -hmm. And they reverse the roles mm -hmm. from where they were before as Batman and, and Catwoman. And I was like, this is great. Like, mm -hmm. this is so well written. And the whole movie is about duality too, mm -hmm. which I think is, is cool. Um, you know, the animalistic side, there's a bat, a cat, a penguin, mm -hmm. um, and him some, sometimes forgetting who he is. Mm -hmm. He's like, wait, I'm, oh, we met before. No, I don't think we did. He met her as Batman and Batman is, you know, Bruce Wayne is the yeah. mask. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. I, I just rewatching this again. Cause I haven't seen it in a long time, but I love this movie. Mm -hmm. I was laughing a lot at things. Um, I miss Jen hook. Jen hooks is in it yes. and yeah. from mm -hmm. SNL and, and, um, you know, a lot of the, the in the beginning, Pee Wee Herman and Simone mm -hmm. from oh, yeah. Pee Wee's Big Adventure, Tim Burton's first theatrical Leatherface film from the remake of Texas James. How do you say that guy's name? Andrew. Yeah, so that dude he plays Chip Shrek. How do you pronounce his last name? He was Leatherface in the 2003 mm -hmm. Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. Which, what are the odds that guy would just randomly one day play Leatherface? What an odd. Yeah, well, he's a fucking right wing whack job. Mm -hmm online mm -hmm. and like says like i don't care what your politics are whatever mm -hmm. but if you start making like threats oh he's threatening oh yeah oh, wow. yeah yeah, yeah. Awesome. during the the obama days he was like saying some fucked up crazy shit you know yeah, i didn't so, know this yeah mm -hmm. uh so he, yeah he got like kicked out of like a bunch of conventions and shit like that for just being a whack job mm -hmm. you know so Fuck you, Chip Shrek. <laughs> Duh, time to bring joy to the masses. <laughs> he has a weird voice. Yeah, too. yeah uh, fucking, uh, you know, you've got the dude from um, Ghost and mm -hmm. and The X-Files mm -hmm. and uh, what else was he in? He was on Moonlighting, the dude who's the, the playing the, uh, the organ. The, oh, yeah. Vincent. Sh the guy who plays drinks the coffee and fast times. Are yes. Vincent Chavelli. Is okay. He, yeah, yeah. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Uh, he's in um, One Floor of the Cuckoo's Nest as well because he's friends with. Really? Yeah. I he's seen that in years. He's so. friends with Danny DeVito. So he's in the movie. Mm -hmm. um, Doug Jones, who's, you know, a, a Guillermo del Toro's mm -hmm. guy, is mm -hmm. in the movie as one of the clowns. Uh, Felix. Uh, cousin it. Yeah, cousin it is in as one of the penguins. Feel what? How do you say? Can't and then the right dude, the I... dude who plays Max Dad mm. on It's Always Sunny is one of the the penguins guys as is well. He really? Yeah, which oh, I thought wow. was good. well. He's also in Pee Wee's Big Adventure as well. He's the guy who cut the 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 um tag off the mattress. Mm. Take a picture oh, of last one. I haven't longer. seen that. So okay, it's jogging my memory. Yeah, there's it. a and you know, Jan Hooks is also in that. She's the one who's like, there's no Alamo mm. with the, there's yeah, no there's, yeah. no, there's yeah. no Alamo with the draft. Yeah. There's no Alamo, there's no basement at the Alamo. So it was cool that he brought a lot of those people in because mm -hmm. he's just like, yo, I made this, the, the, Warner Brothers can't tell me no. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to bring on all these fucking weird people and just do whatever we want, you know? Because the first one made so much money mm -hmm. when it came out. It, it The opening weekend at that time, it had the biggest opening yeah. weekend ever, the first Batman. So I remember my friend's boyfriend went to get tickets on a Friday morning and they said they were sold out till Sunday because mm -hmm. there was no internet then or anything. So um, you had to wait a while to see it. Yeah. And um, so, and I remember for a while, it was the highest grossing movie for a while. Mm -hmm. And so when this came out, it also, it had a bigger opening weekend, yeah. but then it, it kind of fell off because of all the backlash. Mm -hmm. and the, the, yeah. It got beat by a league of their own. Yeah. And all the, 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 uh, people don't know how to have fun and enjoy yeah. a movie. Ruined it for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, anybody who grew up the Batman comic books, 
He's he, all of his rogues gallery are fucking freaks and weirdos and all this kind of stuff. The '60s Batman show was camp, but it was also very subversive as mm -hmm. well. And this feels way more like an adaptation of the '60s show than Batman and Robin does because it has that same camp swirl to everything. Mm -hmm. Whereas the other one was, you know, Batman and Robin is the last firing synapses of a dying <laughs> drag queen. You know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But uh, you know, but this one, I you know, I, I a lot of friends who are gay also really love this movie, mm -hmm. and they're like, no, this movie is like is very queer coded and very, um, you know, because I guess again because of the camp as well. Mm -hmm. And I never saw that growing up, but I guess yeah, uh, Catwoman mm -hmm. represents a lot of like that. So I was like, oh, that's a that's a cool idea. I love her apartment with all mm -hmm. the fucking stuffed animals and everything's pink, mm -hmm. but like she, but it's also like. Uh, like a grimy pink. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like but because she, the one thing I didn't notice until tonight was all the 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 rudders and the steel mm -hmm. beams that she painted pink over. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to make something warm and cute in this cold industrial mm -hmm. city, uh, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. uh, when she breaks the thing for hello there, and it's hell oh, here, yep. mm -hmm. and her costume is just fucking beautiful. Oh, that like, an oh, amazing yeah. costume. She had to be like vacuum sealed I heard into about it. it. She yeah. couldn't go to the bathroom. And mm -hmm. my leather she was could... having all. The yeah. Fun. <laughs> but yeah, and then she. Um, apparently she can only wear it for a certain amount of time yeah. because then she'd start to suffocate. And then she actually put the bird in her mouth I heard and then that. let it go out. She did everything. She did the bullwhip for yeah. all the stunt. Yeah. She, yeah, there's like... she injured a stunt man, or she, I think accidentally, mm -hmm. obviously, but she injured a stunt man. Oh, really? But she did do all the bullwhipping scenes herself. That's so cool. She no, trained. she's great. And then she, you know, mm -hmm. she didn't get back together with Tim Burton until Dark Shadows. Mm -hmm. I'm one of the yeah. few people who loves that movie. Right? I still haven't seen it. Okay, I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> Dave's dying back yeah. um, I swear it's not know, the goof. It's, it's not as a comedy. I think it's hilarious, mm -hmm. but I know a lot of people who are hardcore. I, I understand. If yeah. you're a hardcore Dark Shadows fan, I understand it's probably not what you were hoping for. Yeah. Like, as somebody who was not, um, I loved it I when I was growing up. Because I was telling you about mm -hmm. uh, Night Gallery when we had satellite uh, mm -hmm. in like 1992 mm -hmm. and uh, that's when I discovered the sci-fi channel back when it was spelled the right way <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was watching Dark Shadows, Kolchak the Night Stalker mm -hmm. Dark, you know all that mm -hmm. stuff back then and that's where I discovered it and I, I love the idea of this ho gothic horror uh, like soap opera mm -hmm. so when I saw that they were doing the movie I was like oh cool and then I was like oh it's like a campy comedy Like, but you know what it's a really funny fucking movie Okay, and I, I think even like let's say it's it reminds me kind of of Dragnet because that show is pretty oh, okay. serious, yeah. but the movie's hilarious. So I remember, if you yeah. can just like step out of that thinking for you know and mm -hmm. just enjoy it for two hours, and it's be also beautifully shot. Yeah, and it really captures, it's got a great cast too. Yeah, and it captures the early seventies very well. Mm -hmm. I think and I love there's Ava. There's just some really great humor. I love Ava Green too. Oh, she's, she's really yeah, fucking she's, she's great ridiculously in hot. <laughs> And Michelle Pfeiffer has a really funny scene where Johnny Depp is like going through the mansion mm -hmm. and he finds this weird room full of yarns and yeah. like arts and crafts. She's like, that's my macrame room. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it Johnny Depp because of the fingernails? They hired someone to swipe his ass for him. Oh I did yeah. not hear that story. Yeah, he was like wow. telling it on like Howard Stern or something <laughs> like that. Who would tell that story? That's crazy. Johnny Depp. He's what? more he's more uh he's more scarf than man now. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't he just get a bidet? <laughs> I it wasn't in the budget, I guess, yeah. you know. Um, yeah, I don't know. The way off topic for Batman Returns. I think everyone's talked about this movie ad nauseum. You know, uh, Annette Benning was supposed to play Catwoman originally. She got pregnant and uh, had to leave the movie. Uh, Sean Young showed up in a Catwoman mask. I, I love that Sean Young did that because um, I like Sean Young. Mm -hmm. I know she takes a lot of shit. Yeah. And I think she actually would have been a really good Catwoman. Um, and one thing I was disappointed with Tim Burton because I've read a lot of sean young interviews yeah. over the years but after she broke her arm in the original mm -hmm. batman when she was supposed to play vicky vale like he never called to see how yeah. she was doing or anything and they never even used that yeah she was supposed movie, to be on a horse you know? and it got yeah. cut out you and know that, that's i thought that was shitty yeah but he hid because mm -hmm. she showed up at the thing like a crazy yeah. person see, i would i would have loved it yeah. that day Finkel is yeah, I wouldn't have hit. Yeah. <laughs> they would have been all right. Finkel, all right. Fin Finkel is throwing out dollar bills. <laughs> Finkel is Einhorn. <laughs> they did a good job actually with Blade Blade Runner 2049. The the uh the digital mm -hmm. younger version of her was super impressive. Mm -hmm. And I just love that he just fucking shoots it in the head because he knew that the eye color was wrong. Mm -hmm. I really like that movie. Mm -hmm. But again, Batman and Blade Runner are two of those things in my head that I never got into Blade Runner, the original one, mm -hmm. because it's I had very art, slow moving. But it was I saw it after I saw Batman and mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I get where the 
I get where that influence mm -hmm. came from in this. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of movies that I saw after movies that inspired them, and I, they just didn't hit me the right mm -hmm. way the same. So I don't I'm know. the same way because I, I I love the artwork in Blade Runner. Mm -hmm. It's hard to get into though. Right? Yeah. it's just very. Mm -hmm. It's like kind of like watching paint dry. That's <laughs> not for me. Don't kill me. If you want to cancel me, that's fine. Don't kill me. Mm -hmm. Um, but I do appreciate how beautiful it looks. When we were at, uh, we had a meeting at Warner Brothers in 2019, <laughs> and um, we did like the backlot thing, and there's a lot of the props there, like the blimp is there and stuff like that. It's fucking beautiful wow. up close, like wow. the miniatures. And the same thing with this movie. The miniatures are beautiful mm -hmm. in this movie, and they're so Tim Burton that it's crazy. Like I would love to have seen like a prequel and see what that circus looked like when it was open mm -hmm. with yeah. the big fucking crab and shit like yeah. that. Or even like the motorcycle guys with the skeleton heads, with the eyes that wiggle. I was like, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. You know? So it's, it's cool that they let him do what he wanted to do for mm -hmm. one movie. And then they went, Oh fuck. Uh, you want to go do something small, you know? <laughs> yeah. But if he did a third Batman movie, we probably would have never gotten Edward Scissorhands. We would have never gotten oh. Ed Wood. We would have never gotten uh, mm -hmm. nightmare before Christmas, you know? So, you know, it just sucks. Well, we never got more cat woman. Yes. Well, well, she was supposed to have a solo movie mm -hmm. that Daniel Walters wrote, uh, that Tim Burton was going to direct. And I, uh, I used to go to like, remember when malls used to have like card collectible shows mm -hmm. and they used to have people who would sell scripts. Mm -hmm. And that's where I got like, um, the Kevin Smith Superman lives script. And mm -hmm. like one of the, uh, one of the Peter Jackson, uh, nightmare on Elm street ones. And one of the Freddie versus Jason ones, mm -hmm. but I got the Catwoman one and she moves to a city where there's tons of superheroes and supervillains. And there's a guy who's like a religious superhero called Captain God. <laughs> and it turns out that he's at, he's the main hero. He's like their Superman, but he's also in control of all the crime mm -hmm. in the city. And then Catwoman kind of fucks with the entire thing. And I was like, wow, this is great. This is like an even more subversive version of Batman and Ro of Batman uh, returns. But I was like, they would never make that movie, you know? Mm -hmm. And then at one point it wasn't supposed to be like um, Ashley Judd, Yes, and, and then she it, had to drop out and, for some reason. Yeah, I'm and sure then she because she was doing uh, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, oddly that's enough. Right, um, that's right. And then they did the Halle which, Berry which one. Is, that's funny because that's the reason Kirstie Alley had to drop out of uh, Star Trek yes. 3. She was yep. doing Cat on yep. a Hot Tin Roof, so mm -hmm. there's something about that. Fucking Tennessee but, Williams, man. Mm -hmm. Ruins all yeah. these things. Because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like the, the second message. Yeah. Like, I, like the, I love Kirstie Alley. Yeah, so me too. Good. Um, but yeah, no, this is, uh, this is such a great fucking movie and, mm -hmm. and great to revisit. And just that, that score is insane. And the set design is insane. And I said like Batman and the Batmobile look fucking tits in the snow. Mm -hmm. Anytime you put mm -hmm. Batman in the snow, it looks great. You know, mm -hmm. um, he's got <coughs> so many good lines in the movie and he kills people. He kills lots of people. I love when Batman kills I do people. I don't know why we have to stick to that rule. Where he you know, I, he, he like kill everybody. Yeah, exactly. You have so much less crime if you just go mm -hmm. kill yeah, people. They can clean that city up. You know, make it like a, hipster, a hipsterville. <laughs> no, they should. Batman. Well, because you know, how, like all of his <laughs> kids are in the crime and coffee houses. <laughs> <laughs> all the villains have like ironic names, like mm -hmm. Edward Nigma, Enigma, Victor yeah. Freeze. What if Bruce Wayne just starts going to hospitals mm -hmm. and finding parents who are going to give their kids a clever ironic name? Like <laughs> his name is going to be Rob Banks, and Batman's just punching <laughs> a baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's Bat Abortion. <laughs> 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 Solves the problem for I you. I like that. Yeah, 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 you know. Um, yeah. Anything else for Batman Returns? Um, if Tim Burton had gotten to make a third one, who would Johnny Depp have played? <laughs> Probably the Riddler. <laughs> you know. Well, they dangled. Um, they kept dangling Robin Williams. I heard. I remember and that. And it pissed yeah. off Robin Williams because they were using him as leverage mm -hmm. to get Jack Nicholson yeah. and then to get Jim Carrey. So it was one of those things because Robin Williams is like a huge fucking nerd. Mm -hmm. He named his daughter Zelda. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. Um. So like yeah, that sucks. You know that they mm -hmm. they would go and do something mm -hmm. like that. But I no, I would have I would have been cool to see a Tim Burton third one. Actually, I would love now because. Uh, Michael Keaton's like 80 nice to time. do a Batman Beyond movie yeah. and let him do a very like Blade Runner esque city and kind of more in the in that cartoon like the villains are yeah. kind of more yeah. that was a neat cartoon yeah very much I and love that theme song yeah let him do it but do background checks and everybody he's yeah. gonna be in the movie mm -hmm. <laughs> he'll get stuck in his flash situation yeah, yeah. 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 who knew that, that dude wanted to fight every well that them mm -hmm. wanted to fight <laughs> everyone in the in the you know in Hawaii yeah yeah, I want to see a reality show with Ezra Miller. Ezra Hawaii. versus Hawaii? <laughs> like, it's like Joe versus the <laughs> volcano. <laughs> just breaking into people's rooms. Yeah. Like, 
putting on eyeliner and then kicking open doors. You ever see, uh, you watch 30 Rock? I would love when they had the show Bitch God. Hunter. Yeah. And it was Will Ferrell. He's just kicking open doors. Happy birthday, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's the that new Ezra bitch, Miller yeah. show. <laughs> Fuck the I'm Flash. Here for that. Dump it. No. Dump the movie like you did Batgirl. Mm -hmm. And just give me Ezra versus Hawaii, you know? Mm -hmm. Fucking leaps out of nowhere. Like Jason Momoa is doing one of those dances they do. And he just leaps out of nowhere, you know? I'm a little worried about what they're doing to, to Supergirl. Because I feel like they're turning her kind of into a dude. Um, <laughs> have you seen the pictures? She's got like short hair. Yeah, but she doesn't look like. Mm. I'm not saying you can't play with the character a little bit, but uh, the girl, the the actress who's playing her though is like super hot. Okay, yeah, that's, well that's good. I just don't. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have to be a dude. No, like, let her be. No, yeah, I mean you, you don't have to be feminine. That's you fine. don't have to do the the you know because now. The Supergirl, you know, is isn't the blonde haired skirt mm -hmm. one, you know. Although I love uh, what's oh no, it did it again. Helen did, Slater. Helen Slater. I love Helen Slater. Yeah. Um, yeah, that movie's pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> it's wild that that movie was even made. They're like, oh, give us fucking Faye Dunaway mm -hmm. and Peter O'Toole <laughs> and Magic. And, and the Peter O'Toole's getting drunk in the Phantom Zone. Yeah, and the Salkinds are just, like, fucking doing coke and just like, yeah, whatever. People will love this. The only t the only thing it's connected to is fucking Jimmy Olsen <laughs> is in it, you know? Yeah, he's way too old to be dating that uh, Lois Lane's, what is her, younger sister? Yeah, Lana, or... La yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's younger yep. sister. I'm like, isn't he, like, 40 now? Why is he dating? This girl. Yeah, well, yeah, it was, it was like, a different time. It was a different yeah. time. I, I liked that Faye Dunaway's big right, move in that movie was after she takes over, she just goes down the middle of the street with like her three or four people. Yeah. It's like, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that was legal. You didn't need to take over the world to do that. <laughs> yeah. You could just drove down the street. When I used to live down the Jersey Shore in the off season, I'd be the only one down there. And I would literally <laughs> walk down the middle of town like I'm fucking Cillian Murphy <laughs> and 28 days later. You know? <laughs> yeah, wait, which... Faye Dunaway performance you prefer um, Bye Bye Man or Supergirl oh god don't make me choose <laughs> it's like Sophie's Choice <laughs> Jesus Christ which of your child will die yeah the fucking Bye Bye Man and then what was that other Wish Upon mm -hmm. I'm oh, like yeah, how the yeah, fuck yeah. did these movies get released in a theater mm -hmm. they're both a lot of and fun and then there was another boogie man from like the the aughts that was like PG yeah that not the one not the one with the mirror <clears throat> from the eighties yeah no this okay was a, this was like a PG one mm -hmm. um it made no sense the the, the, the poster had like a hand around yeah, a door okay yeah, yes I do yeah. remember that one because there remember the eighties one though with mm -hmm. like uh David Carradine was in it mm -hmm. and it was like about like a a, a mirror that was possessed mm -hmm. and then that movie Oculus came out and kind of had the same plot mm -hmm. and then the second Boogie Man the director <laughs> like MGM was like we want to make a sequel he's like nope I'm going to do it myself and it was fucking bizarre and it like has like a person gets killed by an electric toothbrush <laughs> and then another person gets shaving cream sprayed in their mouth it's fucking awful I'm trying to remember who directed that that has nothing it to do with yeah that has nothing to do with Batman Returns um yeah, so I guess, like, this is my favorite solo Batman movie. My favorite live-action Batman, though, is Ben Affleck. And my favorite Batman Batman is, unfortunately, the recently passed Kevin Conroy. Um, that fucked me up, because Batman Mask of the Phantasm is the best Batman movie ever made. Um, I'm one of the few people who saw in the theater. It was like, my aunt took me, and there was, like, two other people in there, and they got up and left. Aww. And I was just like, wow, this is great, you know? So, whatever. It is what it is. Yeah. Any closing thoughts about Christmas? No, I just, um, I, well, Christmas, <laughs> I don't really like Christmas. Yeah. So I was just being ironic. Mm -hmm. um, You're Catwoman. Yes, I'm cat, Christmas Catwoman. Mm-hmm. Um, so when Simone puts her baby in the river, she should have said, Au revoir, Oswald. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about your big butt, Simone? <laughs> <laughs> I, love, um, oh, you know, I love the shit out of this movie. Yeah, me too. Great, great, great. And I wish that they made more subversive, fucking weird superhero movies. Like we were talking awesome. about in the in mm -hmm. the theater. Like imagine a movie, imagine a Marvel movie just stopping dead. For a Prince song. Mm -hmm. You know, the party man scene is just like, mm -hmm. you could never do that now. They existed in a world that felt like, you know, again, this one feels like a, um, you know, a Hammer film mixed with a, uh, you know, a, a German expressionist film. And it all felt like a play almost too, because it's in this small world. I don't know. I, I really dug it. I'd love to see more movies, superhero movies do this and be weird and intimate again, you know? Yeah. Scandalous. <laughs> That's the song in the end credits too, you know. I love that song. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, that was a great night mm -hmm. and um, great movie, and uh, we'll come back for something okay. else. Yeah, we'll oh, do something um, else. Also, there's a scene in the movie I want to point out. Okay. Danny DeVito is driving a duck down the street, and a boat lands on him. Yeah. And I thought, mm -hmm. huh, 
That's something you don't see every day. Nope. His duck boat was still safer than the ones in Philly. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I love when he's like in the little, the little, uh, you know, coin operated Batmobile, oh, yeah. and like people think he's fucking in there because like. <laughs> <laughs> well, real quick, we are going to come back with another Christmas movie review. We're going to do Independence Day. <laughs> <laughs> Valentine's Day. Um, uh, what? What is? What's what? What Christmas movies do I would actually want to talk about? Uh, mm-hmm. Silent Night, Deadly Night mm-hmm. 2. Mm-hmm. But instead, like, I pull the gun for Garbage Day and then the garbage guy shoots me. <laughs> you know what a new garbage Christmas, a newer Christmas horror movie is that I love? Better Watch Out. Yeah, that was, that was a great. Cool movie. Yep. Nobody talks about it. Like, this is a great fucking movie. Same thing with Krampus. Nobody talks I about that Krampus. one. Oh, yeah. Krampus' sound design should have gotten a fucking Academy mm-hmm. Award. It's on mm-hmm. par with Gremlins on yep. how fucking good it is. So, yep. yeah, I, I hate Christmas. That's well documented. Mm-hmm. Um, but I also, I, I hate people going like, is so-and-so a Christmas movie? And I'll be like, Schindler's List, sure, whatever you want. It's not a Hanukkah movie, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> and they spend their whole day arguing about it on the internet. I'm yeah. like, oh my God. Like, when's this asteroid coming? Yeah, exactly. This is, th- this is the reason that Marjorie Taylor Greene got elected and Herschel Walker might get elected is because you fucking people are online well, it's not just them. It's it's. I see a lot of liberals spending their day. I don't fucking like liberals either. I know where this is dumb. <laughs> I, I I'm a very liberal person, but then I look at other liberals and I'm like, Fuck, why? <laughs> why are you doing this? Let's all come together and just admit we don't like people. No, well, yeah, at all. We all suck. No, I was we telling you guys suck. about the monkey video I saw earlier, and I was like, if I could just spend all my time, if I had the money and the time, I would just have all the animals, mm-hmm. and then I wouldn't be around people at all. Yeah. And then I'd have money, I'd get hookers. No, you'd be like Bruce Stern in that Silent Running movie. There you go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I could do that. So that's uh, that's our that's us spreading Christmas joy. So Merry Christmas. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Merry Christmas. Mistletoe. Uh, there's a uh, Christmas story too. Yes, I heard um, it was yeah. bad. Okay, I, I haven't I, seen I, it I yet. See it. I sat through the Home Alone remake last year, and I was just like, I. They remade fu- it. It's fucking terrible. Who was in it? Whole, uh, was it Kevin Hart? No, <laughs> Kevin. Kevin Hart as Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> They're about the same height now, too. Um, no, it's it was like a little fat British kid who was in uh, uh, Jojo Rabbit. And the villain is the redheaded girl from The Office. Who's, I missed this. Yeah. Home Alone, COVID lockdown. It was terrible. And the kid is the villain mm-hmm. in the movie. Like, they're having... The, the, the parents in the other house are having, like, financial problems. And they find out about this, like, doll that they have. And they're going to steal it. They gave it away, but they're going to steal it back to sell it. And, like, they aren't the villains. The kid is the fucking villain, you know? What fuck the you! Fuck. Yeah, right. why didn't they just make a new one with Macaulay Culkin as a dad? And no, they 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 brought in the the brother Buzz. Why would you do? Why Buzz. wouldn't you just do a and whole new one? And then right Macaulay after the movie Culkin. came out, Buzz got like arrested for like beating up his girlfriend or he something. Looked like he looked like he was yeah. gonna have issues for sure. <laughs> I mean, you saw the picture of his girlfriend, mm-hmm. Buzz, your girlfriend, <laughs> <laughs> and that was a dude. That they put a wig on mm-hmm. because they were worried about making a girl feel bad about uh-huh. being the ugly girlfriend. So they had one of the... Oh, that was yeah. so thoughtful. Yeah. I'm sure that boy appreciated that. He did. Well, it would be like, funnier if they dressed a hot girl up like the ugly girl. Mm-hmm. Picture, and then it'd be like, she oh, just takes her glasses off and takes her hair down. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like this was the first movie to kind of uh, introduce the... Um, the the girl who's going to become super sexy, but she's mousy until mm-hmm. she gets bitten by cats, yeah, and yeah. then because well, I was thinking that's the perfect <laughs> time. Like Michelle Pfeiffer, I guess she's supposed to be mousy. She still looks like a super mom, yeah, yeah, she's but still she's like, like, like stunning. Out, yeah. I love I that. In, she's mousy. Yeah, in in Wonder Woman, where they give her glasses, and the 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 woman is like, oh yeah, no, that'll cover up that she's the most beautiful woman <laughs> in the world. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were doing that with I, one of my real quick my. Mm-hmm. Like, guilty pleasure favorite movies is cocktail and there's that scene i guess where tom cruise cheats on elizabeth show and mm-hmm. he's like what is elizabeth shoes not supposed to be hot yeah and i was like, <laughs> like don't you love hollywood <laughs> where was it with you we were at the other theater and i was telling the guy about cocktail who was making the drinks didn't know idea what we were talking about. Well, they're in this bar in New York, and there's two thousand people waiting for a drink, and him and that. Bar. And they're doing fucking yeah, juggling they're, acts. And they're doing poetry. I'm like, they would, people would kill them. Yeah. Like, uh, I mean, <laughs> you know. Uh, can I have my fucking drink? You yeah. four foot tall. Do not fuck with me. Hey, alcohol. Hey, Zenu called. He said, "Give me my fucking <laughs> shot." <laughs> All right, that's it. Goodbye.